Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing these bad boys. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications. But today we're going to be reviewing these. I actually just finished these a while ago for my online course. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. First link in my description. But these were the shoes that I made for them. I really like the leather that I used. I have the full on hide right here actually, if you could see. And I don't really know what type of finish this is but it's inconsistent and it's almost like it's hand dyed. So that's why I like it so much. As you can see, it's just like a, a weird different pattern. I don't, I don't really know what to call it, but um, that's how it is. I don't think there's any tags on here, but it's pretty thick leather as you can see as well. If that wants to zoom in, it's, it's fairly thick. It's a nice big piece of, nice big piece of leather. And I'll throw that off to the side, but I use that for this. As you can see the toe, the top wings, the heel, um, also the little tab on the back, um, black suede, black um, stitching, got maroon stitch for the upper up here. Um, you just got normal white leather. And for the inside, nothing too special. You just got the nice lambskin for the, um, the liner, as well as the tongue liner. As you can see, I have a white insole in there. That's what, um, came with the shoe that I took the soles off of. These were the um, the low top, I'm not too sure what they were called, but the low top, the maroon and white ones. Um, I got those off of StockX, but those are what the soles came off of. And as you can see, I used white thread for the midsole, but I mean, they came out pretty cool. I'm super happy with how they turned out. Um, I didn't do the toe holes as well, cause I wanted to keep it, um, I, I guess clean if you want to call it. And I didn't do the, thread right there just a couple things that i changed up on this later i might put a, a tab on here just to change it up a little bit i also did if you could see underneath there it won't show but i did the lace loop underneath there for that but i mean they came out pretty cool um white stitch right across here on the mid you know this is pretty much what they look like but they came out pretty cool. I'm super happy with how they turned out. These are also the laces that came off the mid, so that's why they're kind of, um, they're different color, but when you see them in person, they're the same color just on camera. This shows up a little brighter than that for some odd reason. I'm not too sure, but these came out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how they um, came out. I'll throw them up on my website so you could get them for yourself if you'd like. So with the maroon leather that I use, it's a lot thicker than any um, leather that I've used in the past. So I actually liked it more than using thin leather because it had a nice stiffness to it and it didn't just flap over and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be using some thicker um, leather in the future just to mess around with it, even though it's so heavy. But I really like, especially on the back, you know, in the top wings, it really just keeps its structure. And also on the toe box, it really keeps its structure compared to if I use it on the, the round toe, I would definitely have to skive it down, um, thin it out a little bit if it wanted to peel right over the last. But I mean, it came out pretty cool. This is also the leather, if you remember in a couple videos a while back, if that wants to zoom in, I actually rounded off all the edges of the leather to make it a lot more clean. And um, it definitely gave it a really nice touch to it, especially with the wings. You could really tell in person when you see it that you could just tell that it's really nice, nicely finished off on the edges. In the future, I'm also gonna uh, mess around with some leather dye. So uh, you could you could dye the edge of it and it could uh, go like a different color. You might've uh, seen the, the Mars Yard, the low Jordan ones that I did. I did um, red edges. On this one, you know, maybe in the future, I would just uh, do like the same color. So instead of having that tan finish on the side, we would just go with the maroon finish. But I mean, for the most part, I'm super happy with how these turned out and um, I'm super proud of them. If you want yourself a pair, go check out my website. They should be up by then. But um, these were made in my online class. So if you're interested, go check it out. It's 100% online. Show you how to make a full on shoe from scratch. I show you how to make this Air Jordan 1. You get to make your own shoe, one of one of your own custom. With that being said, I'm also doing the Candy Cane Jordans right now. I'll just show a real quick, um, a little sneak peek because I'm going to be doing a video on these um, later. But as you can see, this is where we're at right now. I got the white thread on the white pieces. We got the red thread on the red pieces. 
This is a, it's taken a long time because literally every single panel you stitch, I got to change out the thread color. So with this, it's going to be taking a lot of time, but I think they're going to turn out really awesome when they're all finished. As you can see, it's like a real messy, like suede. Almost, it's almost like it's a, it's like a messed up piece of leather, but it gives a lot of character. As you can see, you know, it's all jagged right there. There's like there's leather peeling up on that. It's not, um, it's not perfect. You know, there's some holes right through here. So that's why I really like this leather and why I wanted to work with it was cause it just didn't really look that clean. So if anything, it would just give it more character. You know, if you pull down the tab too, then it gives a two tone of the wings, but that's as much as I'm showing you right there. Cause you know, we're gonna, um, we're gonna finish that off and then I'll do a full on video of that. But I just wanted to give you a quick review on this. But thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Go check out another video and see you later.